so the first part of this video, I left it on the table. I left the screens off just so you could see the butterflies, but when it's resting, you want every single butterfly to be 100% completely closed. And you can do that by adjusting these bolts here. Now the key is when you move the, the cluster up here, every single carburetor is open equally. You want to make sure all six cylinders are getting the exact amount of fuel. And usually the first two are easy. Once you get down here, this one's always just a little bit off. All right, so the next step I'm doing, uh, I'm gonna find top dead center. Um, I'm using the piston stop method. I don't know, some of the, the bigger Merc guys will give me grief for it, but I like it, it works. And it, uh, it gives me a one degree buffer just in case I mess up the timing because I know I'm not perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I actually have a video already made for this. So I'll put a link for that in the description. All right, and just a quick look over here. I got the fuel line brand new installed with the uh, stainless steel clips running all the way into a brass T fitting. As you can see, everything has been uh, retrofitted non-zip tie into that. Okay, and the previous owner did have it set at TDC. So after I did my piston stop method, I just put the cowling back on. I didn't even have to move the pointer. So it's always good to double check. Never assume the previous owner had it right. All right, so when setting the max spark, you want this to stop the butterflies from opening. So when you set this right here, all the butterflies should be perfectly open. I don't know if you can see that there, the bottom one. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one to see. Okay, well, I can see it. I guess that's all that matters, right? All right, but as you can see, they're basically almost invisible because they're perfectly flat. All right. All right, so now that we've got top dead center, we have the carbs installed, we have everything back together. Uh, anytime you're doing timing, okay, there's two steps here. We got the, uh, the, the primary pickup and then we have the max setting. Now, if there's an idle stabilizer, it'll be located here. You wanna make sure that you take that out. It'll uh, jeopardize your timing and give you the incorrect incorrect time. So the first thing that we're actually going to set is the the idle stop screw. It just hits on this little bracket here. Um, ADI ignition models. There's two lines right here. One and then an arrow here. So when this hits this, you want those arrows to line up. And right now they're just a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is loosen this nut, screw this in until that lines up exactly perfectly. Very minuscule turn, but as you can see, the arrows are perfectly lined up. So I'm just to test it here, pull it up, whip it back, and the arrows again are perfectly lined up. So now I'm just going to tighten this screw just to save that idle stop setting. All right, so the next step, this might be a little difficult to see. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so there is the uh, See throttle cam, there's the screw to adjust it. Now when this is in idle, we want the uh, the roller right here to be just barely touching, just barely touching that right there. So when that's back, okay, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see that roller right there? We want that to be just barely touching it. And the way we adjust that, again, is the screw right there, the flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna adjust that where it's just barely touching the throttle cam. All right, so now we're on the first, uh, the first timing event here, and you're gonna need a timing light uh, for this motor, okay? Now this is the, uh, the primary pickup, let me see here, right here, okay? This is your max, and this is your primary pickup, and you wanna set this. Now the book calls for, I don't know, I think it's like five, six, or seven after top dead center. Um, I've had a lot of, issues getting motors to run that way now of course we'll try it in this video just for fun just to see what happens and then this is the max which we'll get to next so i'm going to go ahead and adjust this screw put a timing pointer on that until it hits we'll try five atdc right here with the primary adjustment all right so i took the first spark plug out and i have it grounded right here against the case there is the uh 
light for the timing light. I just got this little Innova light. Yeah, I put the top part on just to have better visibility when I'm trying to look look in there. I'm going to see what the actual original setting was for the primary, and uh, we're going to see what happens. Or ATDC. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna start it there. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is lock down, lock down the nut here. And this is gonna be the primary pickup right here. Okay. So now we're gonna set the max. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did have a bungee cord sitting here. Because when you have all this disconnected, if you're trying to set the idle, sometimes this drifts forward just a little bit. So I had this strapped in. So now I'm going to undo my professional marine outboard strap here. And let me get them on eBay pretty cheap. They're like 100 bucks. All right, so now we're going to set the max. And again, this is the max right here. Uh, let's see here. It says right here, max spark 20 at cranking which is 18 so we're gonna set it at let's see here 19 we're gonna peel it back one and all you need to do is get that stop to hit the power head right there okay so let me strap this in without breaking anything all right so we're going for for the 19 19 on the timing light. Big money. Let's do it. Man, I tell you what, I think it's right on 19. But... You guys see that or not? The only number that's on here is 21. So 21, it's 20, and then 19 would be right there. So that's what I need to hit. 19. All right, we're heading way above 19. So we have to go back and adjust the max screw. All right. the time, we gotta put the screw in. So we gotta drop it. Just about there, ladies and gentlemen. We are at 19. Almost. this piece was in here this is for the PSI gauge so I went ahead and sealed it off and I noticed water was coming out of the side here so I went ahead and just replaced it with a clear hose it was actually cracked down there so I went ahead and put some pipe dope on there and just ran a clear tube through here so I guess you can see the action uh, and it looks cool really no other reason than that so I'm gonna drop the timing a little bit because I think it can drop even lower and then we're gonna fire it up again all right, so we're back. Uh, loosened up the eye a little bit, got the water thing fixed. 
dropped it to a uh, 9 ATDC, which uh, 7 I guess was what it's supposed to be at. 